Generally, you say that Ireland's politics are dominated by two parties, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. Fianna Fáil is a centre-right party and Fine Gael is Borges. Fianna Fáil has for a long time been the leading party in the country and has in general mostly got support from the countryside, but had worked their way up in the middle class also until the last ballot. A big reason why two right-wing parties have been the biggest for years is probably because Ireland is ranked 11th on the Human Development Index ranking. A list over how good the population are having it. It involves their economical situation, education, healthcare and other relevant things. Being a country placed that high on the ranking indicates on that a very left-wing party wouldn't get very much support probably approximately as much as left party in Sweden has got, because Sweden is placed 12th on the HDI ranking. In the former government, Fianna Fáil was the biggest part of a coalition government with Green Party. Fine Gael was during that time the biggest opposition party. Fianna Fáil lost a lot of faith from the voters before the last election, caused by the economical crisis in 2008. The crisis forced Ireland to take huge loans from EU and the International Monetary Fund. The solving of the country's debts plays the biggest part in the politics today as well. The crisis made it necessary for the former government to make some cuts in the welfare economics. This wasn't far too popular among the citizens and was probably a major factor of Fianna Fáil's relatively horrible results in the election in 2011. Today, the biggest party is Fine Gael, and their leader, Enda Kenny, is now Prime Minister. Fine Gael is a right-wing party, just like Fianna Fáil, but is a little even more to the right. For years, Fianna Fáil have been acting opposition, but are now in leading position. Their win in the election in 2011 was partly caused by the cuts that Fianna Fáil had to make. The cuts led to that people wanted to vote differently in 2011. Those who wanted to vote more right-wing voted mostly for Fine Gael, and those who wanted to vote more left-wing voted mostly for the Social Democratic Labour Party. The elections in 2011 made the lower chamber and government look very strange in relation to the years of Fianna Fáil's rule. Fianna Fáil isn't even the second biggest party because that spot was taken by the Labour Party. Fine Gael is now the biggest party with 76 of 166 mandates in the lower chamber called Dáil Eiran. The Labour Party has 37 mandates and Fianna Fáil has only 20. Since 2011, Ireland has had a coalition government including Fine Gael and Labour Party. There were some obstacles during the negotiation about the new government in 2011. Obviously, both the parties wanted to solve the economical problems the crisis had caused them, but they had different opinions on how fast they should do it. So they hadn't totally agreed on how tightened the politics should be. The president of Ireland is Michael D. Higgins. He was elected to president in 2011 and sits during a seven-year term. He was the Minister of Culture in 1997 and belonged to the Labour Party until the year he was elected to be head of state. The President isn't allowed to express his political opinions, but seeing to Higgins' history, it isn't too hard to figure out where he stands. Michael D. Higgins is also a pretty famous poet and an author, and has written about ideologies and of course about politics.